with a robber accused of locking his victims inside a freezer. It happened late last night at a popular downtown restaurant. 41 Action News reporter Ariel Rothfield live in the Power and Light District with the cold hard facts. Ariel? Well, in order for BRGR employees to take out the trash, they have to walk through a communal hall they share with other restaurants to access the dumpster. That's where one employee told police a gunman was hiding, waiting to strike. And I want to show you this. Take a look. Behind me, you can see a blue door. That's the door from the outside, which accesses that communal hallway. And we've been here for several hours, and we watched as that door sat open, unattended. It's business as usual at the Power and Light District, but last night it was a different story. I don't know how that suspect made it into that hallway. A man armed with a gun hiding in a hallway connecting to several restaurants forced a BRGR employee taking out the trash inside the restaurant. The man demanded cash, robbed the worker and two other employees, forcing all three inside the restaurant's walk-in freezer. For Tristan Newell, who works next door. Definitely crazy that that happened, and I can't believe that, you know, right right back there, right behind this building. The questions outweigh the shock. I didn't hear about that. People got locked in the freezer. Sunday's robbery marks the most recent crime to happen in the Power and Light District. We looked at crime reports for the area based off of KCPD's dispatch calls and police reports and found in July there have been five thefts, one robbery and one assault case. This is the very first time the restaurant has been robbed. It's definitely strange. It's definitely strange that they're targeting employees. That, that certainly, uh, you know, doesn't, doesn't necessarily feel good. Many businesses we spoke with today are rightfully concerned about that blue door. We made several phone calls and sent several emails to those at the Power and Light District asking how they're keeping employees and you as customers safe here. They have not returned our phone calls or answered our emails. We are live downtown Ariel Rothfield, 41 Action News. All right.